Next, I have the addition to the garage. Just a small one, just enough to relocate the bench to back here. That way I can put the car where the flat spot is. Hello and welcome to Heaven's Mopars. We just got back from the No Name Nationals and uh, it's time to keep on plugging away. I have a garage I gotta remodel and uh, I would like to finish building on an addition. Rusty wants to say hi. Say hi Rusty. And Goldie. Say hi. <laughs> I have this board here. And I got from my friend's garage, Paul, when he moved. Thought I'd use this as a header. Just trying to keep things as cheap as possible. We'll take this and stick it right up here. This is a sliding door. Um, this is the gate that was, or a fence, that was right here. Took it down so we can open this up. I made a deal with my wife when we moved in that if I could have this half of the yard for my cars to park against the fence, and then I could have a little driveway right in front of them to go out. That way I could have this side to park all my cars and I would give her this side so that we could uh, put a garden in. And, uh, which I'm sticking to my word. So we did that, made that for, made the fence, made the chicken coop, all that fun stuff. And uh, what we're gonna do here in this area is once I get the garage remodeled, I'm going to switch from my wood stove to a pellet stove, and then we'll get rid of all this stuff. And uh, and then we want to make like a courtyard back here, put like pavers and chairs and stuff like that, maybe a little fire pit or something. And uh, so, but she don't want this to take up too much space for this. And uh, so I'm just going to come out to roughly about here, just enough to put a bench into here and have a little bit of space to walk in. And uh, I'll probably make it as wide as this board is long. So nothing too big, but that'll free up a lot in the garage. So anyway, time to start digging. I'm almost afraid to dig any more holes. May have spoke too soon. Over here, right at the edge here. Interesting. I wonder what this is all about. Watch out, Goldie. Apparently, they had a pole in here of some sort. No idea what or why or whatever. Hope they don't find anything over here. Or any dead bodies. Now this door here slides. It's on a slider up inside there. But yeah, you just pull on that and it opens up down here. And the tarp against the wall here. So anyway. Cool, huh? I'm going to take this and put it on the front on the other side over there. This is here, put a man door here, and then I can walk in, come straight out the backyard. Um, and then what I'd like to do is take my the door that's in the front right now, that's solid and you can't move it, is take that and bring it back here. That way, because it has glass in it, and then I could use those as, you know, my wall here. And then I can look out the back into the little courtyard area. 
Well, it's the next day. I'm out here digging. Remember when I said, uh, look what I found? There's probably another one over here. I think I found another one. Seems odd to just have one out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what they're for, but let's see what we got. Sorry, Goldie. <laughs> uh, well, I was right. There's another one, but this is only a half of one. This half is missing, and it is in line with this other one. I guess before I dig too much deeper, I might want to uh, know how deep I want to go. Over here, I made a dog door um, so the dogs go in and out. And I put this board in here to keep cats out because their neighbor cats are getting in there and spraying stuff. That only happened once. I like guess time for a door. But anyway, um, I got my foundation here. It's not very deep in there. Went in on the inside and it comes up probably two inches. So I, if I just basically stay just a little below that to build this, I, I almost kind of level this out, I think. Uh, if I go, what, I don't know, four inch slab, something like that. Goldie, get down. And, uh, so yeah, I'm getting close. I'll kind of level this out and go from there. This tree will go last. <laughs> uh, my wife has tried to get me to get rid of this tree forever. And I'm like, I like the tree. So it stayed. <laughs> But now it's time for it to go because now it's in my way. Uh, I'll do what I can to save it. I don't know if I can dig it up without destroying too much of the roots. Then I'll just transplant it back there somewhere out of the way. If you live, cool. If not, I tried. China, here I come. How deep is that thing? Way down there. I had to take a little break from my digging. I'm back. And this tree, I was trying to save it. Kelly has always hated this tree. I'm going to transplant it and see if she even notices. It'll be our secret. Let's do this, Rusty. I think Goldie's behind me. There she is. Let's go plant a tree. How about right here? We have an apple tree here that's dead. It'll come down soon. Maybe this will take its place. I honestly don't know if there's enough roots on this, if it'll live or not, but I tried to do the best I could, but let's see what Ouch. this thing does. Good luck, a little tree. I'll give you some water after I plant you. He's right where Goldie is. Uh, this is it right there. Might be hard to see. There you go, happy little tree. Let's get you some water. Woohoo! I finally found the bottom of this thing. Now let's pull it out. I kind of wiggled it and it moved. Now I gotta use some brute strength. Yay. That was a uh, climatic. But for me, hey, that's progress. Now how do I get it out of there? 
meet my friend, the BFH. Works for me. Three pieces. One of those trays. Quattro Cinco. It came out of the hole and it went back in the hole. Bye bye. All gone.